maybe not the way you wanted it. Can you, can you describe what your emotions right now? Absolutely not the way I wanted, and I, I, I apologize for the poor uh, sportship because I celebrated. I think it's too hard. I screaming. Uh, it was. I didn't scream because he got injured. Because I, I do respect the man a lot, and I look it up for him. He's a great human being, not just a great fighter, a great human being, and a guy that I really like. It was hard to me uh, uh, get motivated to fight someone like him because I, I don't really see myself hurting Junior. But I also, I saw he hurt himself, and I stopped. I didn't charge for it. Not the way I wanted. I apologize for the way I celebrated, and I hope he's okay. Do you mind stepping a little forward? And uh, you were sort of the first one to notice, right? Um, can you break it down that last sequence? Like, what looked off? What, what exactly? Yeah, he, he jabbed me in the body, come with it over on top, and I block it like this. And soon he, he touched me, I feel something pop. I saw either him or me. So it popped, and I look at him, he, the shoulder was like that. So I either could charge forward and, and try to finish the fight, or I point to the ref, which I thought was a good idea to say, hey, dude, his, the shoulder is out. I, like I say again, I want to apologize because I celebrate too hard, but I don't celebrate the win, I celebrate the, what I was feeling all week. I felt that uh, I, everybody count me out, everybody. So, uh, I mean, don't underestimate the, the, the power of someone is underestimated. I had a lot of emotion in me, a lot of feelings, a lot of hungry, and uh, and that's that's what I do. You know, I apologize for that. Overall, how do you grade your performance for the fight? I mean, I, I think I did pretty good uh, in consideration that I fight Junior DeSantis, which is the former heavyweight champion, uh, UFC heavyweight champion. He had light above me when, when it comes to experience. He's 31 pro fights. This is my 12th pro fight, only in, th in three years and a half. So if you compare my experience with his experience, I did pretty good. I eliminated a lot of things that he's good. I hit a lot of punches. He knocked people out. I took it like, like nothing. So I, I'm pretty sure he was winning. I'm not saying not that. But fights is over when it's over. It's 15 minutes, so I win, and I'm, I'm going to take this moment. You were charging him in the beginning. It's a smaller space over there. Was that part of the strategy, let me go charge him? And then he was trying to counter that with the kicks, and you had to try to adjust to that. So what was it like, first of all, you charging him, and then second of all, trying to adjust because he was kicking those legs? Yeah, the goal was close the distance fast they come. He, he's, he's longer, got a great boxer, great one of the best jab in the business. So I want to close the distance, make it a brawl, try to fight his ego, like make him brawl me because that's what my chance. He got way more experience than me. I'm not delusion. I know that when I signed the contract. But uh, the, the goal was press him forward, make it dirty. But he was pretty smart. I mean, I never get kicked like that. I normally want to kick in people. So he kicked me. He, he hit me. First round, I was pretty beat up. It wasn't the card. It was more the legs. Uh, but I, I was willing to go out on my shield. So I, like I say, fights is only over when it's over. And obviously, Junior Dos Santos, I mean, this is easily the biggest victory of your career, but also not the way you wanted. So what are the feelings like right now uh, in, in regards to that? Yeah, I mean, this is definitely not the way I want it. Uh, that's the only thing I take from him. It's not really the way I want it. I think he, he was a step ahead of me in a couple of situations. But I, I, I think I did really good. He taking into consideration that in the paper, he should be able to wipe the floor with me. Uh, like I say, if, if, we, if we count... And then the people in this room, probably my family, my coach is the one who think I'm going to win. Everybody count me out. So if you put that in the, in, the, in the table, I did pretty good. I know I got a lot of work to do. I'm going to go back to the gym. I'm not going to take this as a, as a, as a boost of confidence too much. Uh, I'm going to go right back to the gym. I'm going to work and I'm going to watch this video, the, the fight. And, uh, you know, it's, it's great to add the name of Junior in my, in, my, in my resume, but it's not the way I want it. You were calling out Fedor then, too, at the end. So just what are your thoughts? Was that he the moment type of thing, or is that something that you want to try to this, have that? This, this was the one, uh, I, I don't, not like I feel disrespectful. No, Junior deserve fight Fedor for the, for, for, he got a name. The guy's got a big name, he paid his due. Him and Fedor, it would be a great fight. But the thing is, you count me out already before the fight start. So I feel like th that if someone have to get that chance, don't give it to me. I will take it too. I, I mean, I will sign a fight. I want to fight a legend like Fedor. I want to share a cage with him. And, and uh, guess what? I will come for a fight too. I can fight. So give me that name. And, and I think I did. I know I say I deserve it by my resume because I'm only 93 right now. But I just beat a legend that was supposed to fight him. Just give me that spot. Yeah. And uh, Habib had said, you know, for JDS, you know, maybe look into that Fedor 5 if it's possible to work something out with Bellator. And for you, a title fight. Would you rather have the, the Fedor fight over the title fight? Absolutely. I would rather have the Fedor fight for. For many reasons, he's a legend, he's a great name, a great opportunity to share the cage with him. Otherwise, the other reason is the champion already counted me out. 
He said, Junior want to win 100%, and he want to fight Junior. So I'm going to give you the same energy. Keep your belt. Let me fight legends. They keep fight legends. Fedor, I heard that, that Fabrizio Verde don't want to fight July. I don't know if he's getting a contract with PFL. Bring him too. I fight him. I fight legend. I want to add legends in my name. He lose or win, I'm going to come and fight. I know I understand business now better than I understand before. I know this is entertainment sport. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to entertain people. And what are your thoughts on sort of your post UFC career? Because it seems like the bigger fights that you're getting are outside of the UFC, outside of the bigger promotion. So how happy are you with Ego and, and this run that you've had after your UFC career? Yeah, man, this is this is to prove everybody around the world that uh, you, the results of, of you know whatever you want in life, don't listen to the people's opinion. Focus on your put your effort and do it. A year ago, I was depressed. I got knocked out vicious. I got cut. I had no job. And I was I was in the press, like thinking that I, I may don't want to do this anymore. You know, my my daughter and my wife saw me get knocked out cold, and I was really thinking that do I really want to do this and keep make people that live with me suffer and go through all this thing? But then I'm not a quitter. You know, I want to show my daughter that lives have high and lows, but you can never stop. And and I keep going. Now I think I'm in a better spot. Eagle FC treat me really good. And uh, by end of the year, I either going to fight another legend or fight for the title. So this is a life changer. And, uh, you know, keep going. I, I, I love my, my post UFC career. Jorgen. Yeah, Jorgen, uh, would you give the chance to another legend like Junior Dos Santos? Like, would you give him a chance to run this back after that freak injury? Absolutely. Dude, like I say, I respect Junior, not just like a, a fighter, as a human being. He, if you want to run it back right back, I run it right back. I can do it again. I'm a fighter. I want to test myself. I want to... Actually, I'm going to come even better. It actually, that's not a bad idea. Let's do it again. If you were to fight ADS again, what kind of adjustments would you make? I want to drop some weight, get a nutritionist right now. Soon I go home, absolutely going to come like lightly fast. I'm going to drop 15, 20 pounds because I'm going to counter because he, he was pretty fast. I didn't feel the power much, but he was super fast, and I thought he was start to pick it up. He was start to corner me. Third round, he was pick it up really good. So I need to to, to be f first, press forward, and uh, definitely check those kicks. Jorgen, did the feeling of being counted out uh, motivate you in this victory? Absolutely, man. I was all weak. I was acting like tough and confident, but inside, deep inside me, I was I was mad. I was. I don't like negative energy. But I was full of negative, full of angry, and I don't really like those feelings. Man, I was, I was feeling like people was looking at me like, this guy gonna get murdered. You know, those feelings is bad, but they will fuel me. And uh, uh, I mean, like I, I, I didn't win the way I won. I want to knock him out. But I mean, he, that's Junior Dos Santos, man. He, the guy has a lot of experience. And uh, but the angry one of me and the, that fuel me. The, the people call me out. Don't count me out. I prove it out over and over again. They keep counting me out. This is my fourth time that people count me out, and I, I prove it wrong. Thank you, Jorgen.